Greetings and welcome to another week where we're going to spend time together each day of this week, a few moments together in, in the Word of God and in prayer. I'm going to deal or talk about the topic of success. You see, success could mean different things to each of us. For an athlete, success could be doing really well, doing their best in, a, in an event, and perhaps even winning a medal, being in the top three. To a businessman, success could mean maybe seeing increase in some way in revenue or, uh, you know, the, however the, the person, the individual or that business would want to measure success. For a farmer, somebody out there in the plantation, success may be having a, a decent crop, uh, a decent harvest uh, this year. So success in, 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 in could be expressed in different ways for each of us. For a school teacher, maybe uh, he or she uh, would feel successful if they have really empowered their students and brought the best out of their students, given the best to the students and brought the best out of them that they would consider as success. So success is understood and defined and expressed differently for different ones of us depending on what we are pursuing and what we're doing. But the Bible has things to say, God has things to say concerning success, prospering, doing well in whatever we're doing. And that's what we will talk about this week. The first thought I want to insight that I want to present to us from the Word of God is that God can cause us to be successful or to prosper in what we're doing. There are many scriptures that we can point to, uh, and I'll just point us to a few. When you think about Joseph, now oh, let's back up and let's first talk about Isaac. Isaac, Abraham's son, uh, in Genesis 26, he was a farmer. So he did what he would normally do, go out to the land and sow seed. Now, unusually or interestingly, at that time, there was famine in the land. Things were not very conducive for farming. But in spite of that, he went out, he sowed in the land, and the Bible says he reaped a hundredfold. That means his harvest was a hundred times as much as what he sowed. And, and it says because the Lord blessed him. The Lord made him successful. The Lord, you know, blessed what he did. And uh, so it says the man began to prosper and he continued prospering. So his success, in this case, had to do with agriculture, but it was because of the blessing of the Lord. Think about a man named Joseph, you know, he was in a very difficult situation. He had been sold as a slave. He was a slave in strange land and he was doing household work. He was, you know, uh, he was taking care of uh, uh, Potiphar's house or palace. And so he had to, you know, run the house. That was his work. And there he was successful because the Lord blessed him. Genesis 29, 39 verses 2 and 3, the Lord blessed him there. So in whatever he was doing in, in taking care of that house or the household of, uh, of, of uh, Potiphar, Joseph was successful. He did it well. He prospered. He was thrown into prison. And that's not a very nice place to be. But even in prison, the Bible says, he prospered because the Lord blessed him. That means whatever he was given to do in prison, it is an unfortunate situation, difficult situation. But even there, he was successful in what he was assigned to do as a prisoner. Imagine that. So, the thought to take away today is this. The God of heaven can cause you to be successful wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Whether you're a farmer, a businessman, you're running a household, or you might be in a prison, wherever you are, God of heaven will bless you so you can be successful, you can prosper. And glorify God. So expect that. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you promised to cause us to be prosperous and successful. And may this be the portion of every person listening. May we walk in it, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 
thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.